Are you trying to plan a Valentine's weekend dinner for someone that you love who happens to love dogs? Well, here's a suggestion. Curly Tails and Cocktails, a semi-formal dinner benefiting pug partners of Nebraska. And you know who's going to be there? These two right here, the two humans, Christy Jacobs <laughs> and Kelly Anderson. Good to see you. And, and you have your, your pugs in here too, right? Yes, this is Bubby. Bubby and? And this is Norm. Norm. Well, you know, everyone at home is going to want to look at the dogs first and figure out what of they're worth. So let's go ahead and take care of the elephant in the room or the pugs in the room. What exactly is Bubby dressed today? You know in today? what that is, Kayla. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a he's a sock monkey, monkey right? He's a sock monkey. monkey. Well, yes. and what's his story? His story, he was actually rescued from Pug Partners of Nebraska. I adopted him uh, five years ago. He looks yeah. pretty chill. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty excited to be and here. And Norm, Norm's, uh, Norm. Norm's got the, the bow tie on. He's yeah. got a lot of, that's kind of his signature, right? Yes, he has quite a few bow ties at home. We had to pick one out just for today. Does does everyone say Norm when they see him, or is that just me? Uh, that's what I say whenever I come home at the day. Norm, because he runs up to see me. Norman. And now they're not going <laughs> to attend this event, right? No, it's a human-only event. It's for humans only. Describe what it is. What is this event? Curly Tales and Cocktails is a uh, dinner benefit for Pug Partners in Nebraska. We have a buffet dinner, silent auction, live auction, uh, just a really fun evening. Well, a lot of people probably know you from Pugaween because you come on every year and bring a couple pugs dressed up. Yes. This is a different kind of event. It's a great way to support the organization. No dogs present, but you can enjoy a great meal. There's some dog themed things. What else can people expect? Tell us about maybe some of the silent auction uh, items and then you've also got a photo booth. It's just going to be a fun thing. You're not just going to kind of sit there and look at your partner and your plate. <laughs> Yeah, we have a great silent auction, live auction items. We have uh, a 55 inch TV, <laughs> uh, a pug quilt made by, homemade by one of our volunteers. Um, so there's a lot of great items on our auctions. Yeah, Jake, I don't know if we can get a shot of her shirt over here, but um, Chrissy's got, that kind of sums it up perfectly. It says, Nebraska, the pug life. Would yep. you talk about the mission? Uh, what, what's your organization do? We rescue pugs and some of them are owner surrenders and others of them come from um, like puppy mills mm -hmm. or just breeders who have basically retiring their dogs. So like Norm here, he's a retired breeder. Um, his particular breeder wasn't terribly responsible, which is why he ends up with only one eye. But honestly, we just like to say he's always winking. <laughs> yeah. He's winking at you. <laughs> yeah. What is it about pugs? Because your rescue group is passionate. And some people who have never had a pug may not know they have some special well, health pugs, challenges. They do, but they're very laid back as yes. we can see right now. Yeah. What pugs. makes them so special, Christy? Oh, they're great. I mean, they just, they're funny little, little dogs that uh, they love their people. They love to be with you, love to make you happy, and uh, they're little clowns. They are. So they're characters they're is what fun. they are. How yeah. did you two get involved in your organization? Uh, I got involved just about seven years ago. Did you uh, have a pug at the time you got involved? I did uh, have a pug, and I volunteered with one of the events that they were doing, and he came to me that actual weekend. Uh, and he never left my house. So, um, on your website, if people look it up, it just says like in big letters, "We rescue pugs." It's a mm -hmm. pretty simple mission, and you've got yes. some great video of some of the pugs that you've rescued and rehomed over the year. Mm -hmm. What's the process like for people who are interested in either fostering or adopting a pug? And how many dogs do you have available right now? Okay. Well, right now we have about three, three or four pugs available for adoption right now. And it's a kind of a lengthy process, but pretty easy. All you have to do is go onto our website and fill out an application to adopt or to foster. Um, we do do a home visit, and we really work hard to make sure that we are adopting the right dog to the right house. Right. So it's not like first come, yeah. first serve. You're getting a dog that's going to fit in with your family and hopefully truly their forever home. How do yeah. they do with other dogs? Or other pets in general. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. They do really well. They do real. They do well do with elephants. <laughs> they do well with tigers. I mean, they Parakeets. do well with anybody. But uh, you guys really do oh, put on. Norm's winking at y'all. You do put on a lot of great events. Pugaween, and then this one, which is Curly Tails and Cocktails. Uh, where do, where does the the money raised from these events? Where do you put that? What type of programs and um, and and trying to find homes for these pugs? Uh, really, it, it goes to a lot of our veterinary bills, mm -hmm. obviously, um, and for future fundraiser activities that we do, uh, education for the uh, uh, community as well. Mm -hmm. So we like to get out there and educate the community about uh, puppy mills and just about pugs in general, too, and mm -hmm. adopting. There was a number I read online about the average medical expenses for one pug. Was it 340 That's dollars? average, yes, and that's Look, probably on the lower the side mm -hmm. now. Sure. Wow, so yeah. you can see why it's so important to hold the events like this. Definitely. If people want to attend, what's the best way to get tickets? 
right to our website. Yep, we have Pope a link Partners. on our website at popepartners.com. And, and if you decide you want to go ahead and become a sponsor too, we also have a link on there as well. And right, a, reminder so at the bottom of the screen, a reminder at the bottom of the screen, humans only, please do not show yes. up with your pugs or any other dogs. Uh, Bubby's not going to be there, but no. I think Bubby's going to be laying down on the couch somewhere. Just yes, he is. Doing what he's doing right there. <laughs> I think he'd enjoy that more anyway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he would. Too, much, too much action. Yeah. Pugpartners.com for more information. And of course, the timing is perfect. It's a yes. great date night if you have a partner who mm -hmm. is passionate about pugs. Absolutely. Yeah. How's that for it's alliteration? A, it, it, right, it's a fun event. Uh, Pugpartners.com. Guys, thanks for coming this thanks morning. Thanks to all four of you. Thank yeah. you. Are they awake? <laughs> They're kind of awake. They might have taken a little bit. They're, they're sleeping. Yeah. Uh, 40 floors, 